Hi, so travel. Um, I'm the worst possible person ever to have written this column because I'm a terrible, terrible packer. Um, but it was quite a good exercise for me because it did coincide with the trip I did to New York last month where I had to um, try and put my advice into practice. And I think I sort of cracked it. I've got my head around it. Um, I normally just take, you know, half of Superdrug with me. Um, but this time I really, really, really pared down and actually I wasn't caught short at all, even though I did buy loads of stuff and bring it back again. So um, I'm just going to tell you roughly um, the main bits that I took and why I took them um, and why they gave a lot of sort of bang for their buck in terms of space um, comparatively. Um, first of all, you will have seen uh, travel kits around, you know, you can obviously get little pouches with four or five identical bottles in containing your skincare and stuff. I generally don't like those. In fact, originally this column was meant to be about those, but I was so unhappy with all the ones um, I tested that I didn't want to do a column on them. The problem is that you never like all the things. So instead of saving you space, they just take up space because you take a load of stuff that you don't want to use. Um, you know, who needs eye serum? Not me. Um, I just think that they're a sort of false economy in a way. Um, so I decided to dump those. The only ones I did find for that column that I liked were these by Lisa Hoffman. And um, these are like little ampule things. And, and they're only for a weekend away. They're not for a fully, you know, a full length holiday. But they've just got these little ampules in them with little, with different skincare products. And they're numbered. They're numbered according to when, which order you should use them. I thought they were quite nifty and the products within are really nice. Um, she's married to Dustin Hoffman, by the way, which I didn't realise at the time. Um, so I liked those, but in general I prefer separates. So the separates I used um, are as follows. Here's the bag I took with me. You can see it's been well loved, it's in a bit of a state, but this is my preferred bag for travelling. So in this bag I put my favourite cleanser, Cleanse and Polish. By Liz Earl. The reason I did this is because it replaces eye makeup remover. You don't need a separate eye makeup remover with um, a hot cloth cleanser. Um, you just massage in the creamy cleanser and you remove it with a hot flannel. All hotels have got flannels in them so I didn't even need to take a cloth with me and it just leaves your skin really really nice and soft and isn't um, harsh or chemical when you've been in the sun all day. So that was the first thing I took. I took a full size one of that but you can get smaller ones. The next thing I took was um, a serum, a very, very, very moisturising serum. Now this does lots of jobs for you or comes in handy in lots of situations. It's brilliant for the flight because cabin air is really, really dry, really dehydrating and a mega moisturising serum, one with hyaluronic acid in. This is a Clarins one, although um, I took a Kiehl's one but I've run out. Run out. This is brilliant too, but anything that's really rich in hyaluronic acid to really um, trap water into your skin. So great for the flight, for that dry cabin air. But the other reason it's brilliant is that when you're away, if unless you're in a freezing cold climate, you can go straight from this sort of serum to your sunblock. So you don't need the extra moisturiser, um, which saves you a jar in your um, toiletries bag. So you put the serum on, then put your sunblock over the top, then your makeup if you choose to wear it, and you skip that whole step. And in fact, moisturisers are normally the big and bulky things. So this is a really valuable item. So serum. Obviously, deodorant, toothbrush, razor, and so on. Um, that's You're obviously going to take those. You don't need me to tell you about that. The next thing is sunblock. Um, avoid travel sizes. Go for a full size of sunblock because it's really important that you have enough with you. Um, this is by Creme de la Mer. I'm mad for this sunblock. It's absolutely amazing. Over a serum makes the most perfect base for makeup. Everything goes on beautifully over the top. It's really nice and moist but not at all greasy. Um, I also love the Shiseido one too that I recommended a few columns ago but I won't bang on about sunblock any more than I already have. You're sick of hearing me talk about them I'm sure. Then I took a facial spritzer 
in a small container. Um, the reason I did this was so that I could take it on the flight and just spritz it every now and then um, to keep things moist and comfortable, but also so that um, I could keep it in my bag when I was sort of scooting around New York because it was so hot and it just kind of cheered me up and freshened me up. So not an essential, but just a lovely, lovely thing to have. Then lastly, I took a general purpose moisturiser, one that is good for your body and one that you can put on at night to put some moisture back into your skin. So not one with a sunblock, not one with any particular skincare properties. It's not like you're going for months on end, just like a proper substantial moisturiser. And the one I chose was um, Steam Cream. It's £10 and it's a nice, generous um, tub. The tins are really lovely as well. They come in millions of different designs with them. Um, Lots of different artists and fashion designers and stuff can collaborate with them. But it's just it's just a nice, rich moisturiser, so um, I could use it when I came out of the shower as a body cream, and I could use it as a night cream, I could use it as a hand cream. Um, the tin meant that it didn't melt like it would in, in plastic, so I found that really, really useful. So that was my basic kit. Loads of room in there, look. This was my makeup bag. So this is what I took with me. Can't tell you how much it pained me to scale down, but actually I, I found it worked really well in the end. So the first thing I took was a tinted moisturiser. Laura Mercier is my absolute favourite. It's so, so, so brilliant. It has an SPF in it, even though I had the sunblock from Creme de la Mer. Nice to have a little something extra. Also, the other thing about Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturiser is it has a little bit of coverage. It's not completely transparent, so you're not missing your foundation as much if you go away without it. So for that reason, I found it invaluable, as I always do. The next thing I took was a um, concealer. Um, I used um, the um, By Terry Concealer pen, it's sort of illuminating concealer pen. And what I like about it is it takes all the benefits of an illuminator, like, you know, your touche clat and things, but it also has um, strong coverage, so it, it conceals dark circles and um, minor blemishes and stuff. So I couldn't live without that. I also took um, this, now this is brilliant. It's called the Bobbi Brown um, Touch-Up Stick. And fans of Bobbi Brown's stick foundation will know how brilliant that is. This is like a mini, mini version of the stick foundation. And I just found that it covered up um, stronger blemish marks than, say, the, the By Terry. Um, but also in the evening, when I wanted to go out, I could layer on a little bit of this and I felt a bit more like I had proper makeup on. You know, it's so... It's so light and really creamy and blends in, but it just makes you feel a little bit more perfected and made up and it's tiny look at it I mean it's absolutely tiny then I took a cream blush um, I really like cream blusher for traveling this one I actually bought in America it's by Tarte um, and it's like a sort of massive Pritt stick which is quite satisfying um, I think I took um, a Becca one which I really really loved <laughs> but um, I'm using this one at the moment. And this is great because it just, you know, you can put it on your cheeks and um, you can dab it, you know, on your lips and to give it a bit of color. And you can just sort of chuck it in your handbag and, you know, just do that, it's great. That's enough, I think, for day for li lips and cheeks. Lip Balm by Lana Lips Lemonade, love it. Then, a mascara unless you have lash extensions, in which case you don't need one. Then you just want to take two products that take you from day to night, that make you feel a bit more made up when you go out for dinner in the evening and put a nice frock on. So in my case, I chose this graphite liquid liner from Estee Lauder, which is one of my favorite new products of the year. Absolutely amazing. Um, just lovely stiff brush and it stays on, come what may, however humid it is, it's not shifting for anything except your cleanser. So I would put that on at night and I would put a red lipstick on because nothing makes you feel dressed up like a red lipstick. It's actually really lovely when you've been sort of sweltering all day in very light makeup to go out in the evening and just slick on some red lipstick and you, and you just feel sort of ready to go and instantly freshened up. And that is all I took with me. You can see how little space it takes up. 
um, for me to spend a week in New York with that little makeup is quite something, I can assure you. And those are my toiletries. That's probably around a quarter of the quantity I used to take. So if you're like me, um, a bit of a rubbish packer, those I think, I'm living proof that those will, will get you through, they'll do you fine. And if you have any travel essentials that you swear by, let me know what they are in the comment section. Thanks.